Now, if you don't have already MySQL installed, then you can follow me. I'm going to show you step by step how we're going to download and install MySQL in Windows. This is so important so you can practice and run the tutorials at your computer. Let's start by downloading MySQL. Okay, let's go to our browser. We will go to the official website of MySQL, mysql.com. At the menu, you will find here downloads. Click on that, then scroll down until you find MySQL community downloads. Click on it. You will have here a bunch of installers. The one that we need is MySQL installer for Windows. Let's go there. Here you have two options, smaller one and bigger one. So the small, it's like it's going to download some packages as you install MySQL or you can download the whole package at the start. So I recommend you to go with the bigger one. So we have everything downloaded at the start. Click on download. At this page, it asks you to log in to create new accounts. It's not necessary for the tutorial, so you can skip that. So I'm going to go with no thanks. Just start my downloads. So it's going to now start downloading the installer. But because I already done it, I don't want to waste now the time. So I'm going to go to downloads. And I'm going to start the installation. Okay, let's start now the installer. I'm going to click on it. Press yes. And now we are at the first step of the installations. Before we proceed, I'm going to tell you there will be a lot of like steps. 30, I think. We're just going to press start, next, finished, yes, and so on. We will not change a lot of configurations. Maybe we're going to put some password, but that's it. So it's really easy. Let's start with the first step. It's going to tell us here, for example, uh, developer, server, client, and so on. We will stay with the developer default. So click next. After that, it's going to check the path. We're going to stay with the defaults. Press next. Yes, I'm sure. So here it's going to check the requirement. They will do a lot of steps like this, checking the requirements. So we stay with the defaults. Press yes. And now it's going to show you all the packages that's going to be installed. So we will not change anything. Let's everything to be downloaded. So now I'm going to click execute and it's going to start installing all those components at my PC one by one. All right. So now we have all the products installed. We will click on next. Then we have some product configurations. Just click next. And now you can see about the networking. Well, the most important thing here is to know that we have the following port number for our local database. But we will not change anything. We're going to leave it like this. Then click next. We're going to stay with the recommended settings for the authentications. Click next. And now we have to set up finally the password for our root user, or we call it an admin user for the database. So this is very important to memorize or to write it down somewhere. So now I'm going to give for our admin user the following password. Oh, <laughs> it's weak. So next, we will stay with the recommended stuff. Not going to change anything. And we're going to click now execute to apply our configurations. Okay, after all configurations are completed, we're going to click on finish. After that, there will be more configurations. Okay, next. Don't change anything. We're going to stay with those configurations. We're going to click on finish. After that, some more configurations. Okay, finish. Okay, now we're going to test our connection to the database server. You see here the username is root and we're going to type here the password that we gave previously for the admin user. So I'm going to give here the password and click check. So if you get it like here, connection succeeded. That means we are successfully connected to our SQL database and everything is fine. So let's click next. Apply configurations. Okay, execute. So everything is green. Click finish. We have more configurations. Guess what? Next. All right. Installation completed. So let's click now. One more finish. After the installation is completed, it's going to start like MySQL workbench for you and as well another shell scripts. Let's check here. 
So we don't need this one, you could close it. We will stay with the MySQL workbench. This is exactly what we need for the tutorials. So you can see over here, local instance MySQL 80. This is your local database at your machine. So we're gonna log in and try to see whether everything is fine. So you see here the admin user wrote and we type the password we gave in the installation. This is mine. Click OK. And now I am inside my database. If you are exactly at this step, that means you downloaded, installed and logged into your database successfully. So congrats. All right. So with that, we have downloaded and installed MySQL successfully on our system. Next, I'm going to take you in a very quick tour in the interface of MySQL. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.